Hey guys, Digital Lifestyle here. Just a quick video on uh, Bit Our Funds uh, review and uh, also Terra Luna Burn, and that's looking quite good. But let's cover Bit Our Funds first. Bit Our Funds Limited, uh, an innovative, uh, safe, safest place to earn Bitcoin with crypto investments. Quick registration, more information. Our financial advice, take it. Welcome to BitmoreFunds.com. Uh, we are an organization focused on the cryptocurrency market. We make the most of amazing profits in the digital currency trading movement. Bit Funds Limited is registered in Hong Kong. Our main business is, uh, involves cryptocurrencies, automatic trading and trust management services are carried out on a legal basis. We allocate our investments to various portfolios. Participate in mining off currencies and earn profits from them. We have made tremendous progress since our inception. By join, by join us, by join us, and you can start accumulating money hourly with other investors, earning faster and more stable returns with simple passive income. By join us, right? By joining us, it should be by joining us, right? You can know that. Right, let's check out the certificate. Oh, it's gone over here. See, the click on the certificate. There. Mm -hmm. Check details. Click on the certificate now, and you get that. Now, I want to see if I can get this to get bigger. Sorry guys, but I don't think this is a good one. No, can't get it to go bigger either. No, can't even zoom in on it. So, not being funny, like I said before, these kind of things do not make sense to me. As soon as you see a certificate on our website, it's a red flag for my, my um, way of thinking about it. Anyway, they have uh, 1.12, 1.25 uh, hourly, uh, 92 hours, so you can deposit 10, maximum 999. Uh, referral commissions 3%. I'm not going to be referring this because I don't think this is going to work. This is a scam in my view. And I'm going to go over to my little scam detector and let's do some breaking on that one. There we go. Bit out of fun, legitimate. Nope. Four out of 100. This thing's a scam, yeah? So, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't even go anywhere near it. Um, Monday of the second. What day? What? Oh, 2021. Okay. Popularity, great, but threat profile 55 out of 100. Felicity score 11 out of 100. 100, malware, 6 out of 10, now 6 out of 100, spam, 55 out of 100, proxy, website, 24, suspicious, out of 100. So I wouldn't trust it if I were you, but then that's your choice. I'm not going to give you the link, that's your choice, go and follow it up, or up if you want to go and do that, not financial advice, but I just wouldn't touch that with a barge pole. I'm going further down this side, it's got all these, and they're great, you know what I mean, except tether, before, duh, 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 VMB, duh, 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 duh. Dash, but I still wouldn't touch it. All I have to do is run it through the scam detector that gives me the score, <laughs> and that's all I need to know. I'm gonna go through the frequently asked questions. Let's say, as any standard, but it's a good site, it's a nice looking website. I'll give it that much, but it's still a scam. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time on it, right? Shiva in right. Right, as everybody knows, that that uh, went down in market value and everything else, and it's having a bad time at the moment since um, uh, they've released um, oh, Shiba, sorry, Terra Luna uh, 2.0. But Terra Luna 2.0 ain't doing all that good either, and the community wants um, a burn on Luna Classic, which is actually happening. Um, this, this is an amazing amount of, uh, tokens burned so far. 782 million. And it, and it keeps updating, you know, um, 
just wait for for a top day. So yeah, seven hundred eighty two million burned so far, um, which is good um, for Luna Classic at the end of the day. And I believe um, there is talk of um, development going on it. Some decks, so they want to create a dex um, that allows um, users to use it, stake, and all that kind of stuff. And they want to take it away from Duck One. Um, so there is that talk about that that going forward. But all that said, um, on CryptoSlate.today.com, uh, Luna 2.0 stake, uh, stakers are to decide on the future of Luna Classic and re-enable IBC. Um, I don't know what IBC is. Luna Classic to re-enable IBC and to allow liquidity out of protocols that hold stock Luna uh, Classic. Um, what is IBC? Goodness. Um, the government system of Luna 2.0 being used to decide the future of uh, the legacy chain, Luna Classic, instead of using on-chain governance on Luna Classic. Uh, the decision to re-enable IBC on Lu uh, Luna Classic is being made by a Luna 2 governance system, the new uh, proposal states. The current state of Terra V1 governance is in a debatable is in is is in is debatable. Oh, okay. The way <laughs> this is a way of consulting the new Terra community, which was formed from two snapshots and represents the stakeholders of the legacy Terra chain in an arguable agreeable way. Right. Okay. Uh, about the as well. Terms of development data PC. PP, the PFC confirmed to slate, uh, crypto slate that the proposal could be completed on Luna Classic. However, it costs one cent mm, to do, and it's flooded with splat. Uh, thus, it appears that the government is being auctioned on Luna to, to, due to loss of faith in ability government. If IBC is re really enabled, the chain will be able to unlock tokens currently trapped on the chains on other chains. IBC is a protocol used to allow independent blocking block no independent blockchains to communicate IBC. Okay, could that be it? To communicate with each other. Larry OX developer Delph Digital explained Delph Delphi Digital's explained IBC channels connect Terra Classic and Osmosis Junior uh, Crescent was forcibly set to, clo to close as part of Terra Core Software v V05.2 upgrade PFC told CryptoSlate. Okay, according to PFC, the government's proposal passing on Luna 2.0 for Classic Luna is not bind, binding according to PFC. The vote appears to be focused on guidance to gauge the support of Luna 2.0 community, which is mainly made up of Luna Classic holders due to the drop. Due to the drop. Further, further, if changes to LUNC are made due to the results of vote on LUNC, uh, Luna 2, it could be argued that the validates that it validates the entire LUNC governance system. How can a blockchain be updated due to vote on, on a related chain? The difference between proof of stake and proof of work means that there would be possible on proof of work to chain miners on Bitcoin can never affect those on Litecoin, for example. Re-enabling IBC was a larger part of the debate between ter Terraform Labs and validators during the war, the war um, conversations on the 12th of May. Uh, however, the protocol is still offline as of the 4th and millions of dollars worth of tokens are locked in the, the bridge asset, the new proposal plans. Right. To re-enable previously closed IBC channels, Osmosis Channel 2.0 Junior and Channel 49 Crescent. It further states, 
If this proposal passes, the next step will be to prepare the software upgrade and, pro uh, and propose its own legacy terror. Mm. What is own legacy? Where well, legacy delegators and relatives can have final agreement. Therefore, LUNC governance will be bypassed entirely and validators will allow in the result of the vote of Luna 2 to update their code and take action to upgrade PFC told crypto slate. A vote 1299 has already occurred on the old chain but it was done wrong so Terra 1 was already voted. I don't get all this. There is also a potential to vote on Luna Classic Silver to vote on Burn. Vote to Burn. The, the remaining USD community pool. The inability of Luna Classic to run successfully governance system is highly worrying. Several updates have failed due to technical issues and other reasons over the past weeks. The trade cannot be expected to succeed when it cannot successfully govern itself. However, as PFC FC states, the chain should be given a chance to live or die by itself. The proposal to re-enable IBC will be the first proposal to pass on Luna 2.0, yet it will not be expected related to governance of LUNC, but Luna Classic. Okay. The proposal to re-enable IBC will be the first proposal to pass on Luna 2.0, yet it will not explicitly be related to the governance of Luna 2.0, but Luna Classic. So that sounds like good news to me. Sounds like, yeah, it could be good news. Okay, so, let's have a look at that burner one more time. Do some updates. Right, it's still the same, but you know what? That's a lot higher than what it was when I looked at it uh, a week ago. So, you know, we're getting to a million, uh, a billion being burnt, which is a good thing. It's only going to help the price of Luna. Um, I'm not, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to go and get any. Um, that, that's far from it. Um, what I'm trying to say is, do you know what? It might be worth looking at it at some point, especially when all the proposals go through and, 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 and more tokens get burnt. As that happens, that obviously increase the price. Um, you know, it's well worth looking at. And also, um, the latest news that are coming out of Japan as well, which is something worth touching on when I can get to it, that they are, are advocating, um, they passed a bill for stablecoin built, um, aimed at protecting crypto investors. So the terror situation may never ever happen again, especially if, ja if, if the world adopts a Japanese code. And how they want to do it because you know if you look back on what um just before the Luna crash in fact they were talking about stable coins and how they could be a risk isn't it funny how that crashed all at the same time people need to be wary of that but that's beside the point it's happened it's gone it's out of the way now what do we do now what do we do do we carry on with what's going on with Luna do we move away going to Luna 2.0 or do you go back to Lula Classic and try and, uh, and hopefully save that? Because remember, that has history. It has over a million people that support it. So is it not worth saving? Is it not worth looking out for? Even if you just put a tenner into it, you're getting like 105 tokens even more at this rate because it's, it's gone down a bit. Do you know what I mean? 100, 105,000, sorry. Tokens, 105,000. So, it will be worth it, a tenner. That's all it is. Anyway, I'm out. Like, uh, and subscribe if you want to. Also, don't get scammed, stay regulated. Take care.